doubles and coffee keith christopher rowley said we are a model country well if we are a model country under you keith rowley and the pnm for the last eight years then what we were under camera because the economy was better we had 125,000 more jobs cost of living was lower the roads were better more people were getting 24 7 water supply in the house up at 74 percent as opposed to 12 percent electricity rates were lower and electricity supply was better crime scourge crime was at a lower rate and decreasing with with plans with commissioners of police that had an idea and were based on merit and were selected by the independent police service commission without interference from politicians corruption was lower corporate governance was better there was one person for one board people's money was spent better we weren't suffering people with more tax and more ignorance and arrogance Trinidad and Tobago was not as divided right now there's desecration of Hindu temples all over the place happening nearly every day people and discriminate discrimination is at its highest level Trinidad and Tobago is deeply divided you as a leader every time you speak you speak divisiveness and Calcutta ship and UNC and in, in a deal with Farley and Tobago playing race politics Trinidad and Tobago is a model nation and then Rowley tell you in this model nation he ready to go cashless society because the developed world is cashless and he want to expedite that not even knowing that 175,000 citizens have no bank account. Rowley talks about cashless society when the most important thing is data protection and cyber security. In the face of the biggest data cyber security failure in the history of the Caribbean, in the history of Trinidad and Tobago, with the PNM and TSTT lying to people about a hack that occurred. And all of the customers and B-Mobile, TSCT is the number one largest company. The government is on the board. The government is a major stakeholder and shareholder, owner of TSTT. And in light of a ransom ex hack and lie upon lie, Rowley says, let's go cashless. Let me tell you something. In Trinidad and Tobago, if I was to tell you that there was a hack, of a B-Mobile TSTT company and the B-Mobile TSTT CEO and management tell the board that there was no hack and the board tell the PNM minister that there was no hack and no data nothing was at risk and he goes in the parliament the minister man the minister of public utilities and lies to the parliament based on lies told to him by the CEO and by the management and board of TSTT and therefore lies to the entire population over 1 million customers and other potential customers and then they come back and say well we lie but sorry and then we have to open our newspapers and see after 760 workers were fired because TSTT wasn't making money and one red man Sweet red man, according to the CEO, was hired at a big salary with questionable qualifications and process unknown. We have to open our pay papers and see the chief liar pay $15,000 full page color ad in three newspapers, $45,000 minimum plus money to do the ad and put a picture of her lying face smiling confidently to tell you we sorry but we're not really sorry for what we did listen to what this woman put she face smiling with your money <laughs> this is a model country right in other countries people resign and so on but in this country the ceo who lied put out a message the company lied and said there was no attack. Then there was no attack. There was an attack, but nothing, nothing was taken. Then there was an attack and stuff was taken, but not really important stuff. Yeah, your name, address, whether you pay cash or card, your birth date, your information, not, nothing important. Yeah, but hear what? They pay money, your taxpayer money, to apologize. Hear the apology. We acknowledge 
that in our fervent effort to promptly address the cybersecurity issue, there were areas where we could have improved our communication with you. And for that, we offer you a sincere apology. They are they apologize for the fact that a major company like that is woeful at cyber security. They apologize for all your data getting out there. They apologize for not alerting you quickly so that you could try to protect yourself from whatever hackers want to do. They don't apologize for lying to the minister who lied to the parliament who lied to you. They don't apologize for lying to you. They say it was poor communication. It's like somebody coughing you in your face and say, but me I cough you. And then by the next day, they say, well, we fought. I tried to cough you and I kind of hit you, but it glanced off. And then by the next day, they say, well, I cough you, but it wasn't a good solid punch and your lip didn't bust. And then they come to say, I apologize. I keep my work and I spend in your money to show you that I don't care because in this model country of PNM, this is the norm that, can t that, that goes on. This is the access. This is the, the responsibility that is shown. Well, let me just tell you, in the world over the last few years, there were a few hacks like that and data, people's data was taken, their names, addresses, uh, numbers, uh, whether they pay cash or card and so on, similar information. And the Swedish ministers, three ministers had to resign because of a cyber attack and data collection error and, and, and people's data went into the dark web. A health minister in Poland had to resign because people's information was stolen. Cyber attack. The CEO of PricewaterhouseCoopers in Australia, big intelligent man in a big position, had to resign because of a cyber attack and loss of data. Impova Equifax target CEOs were forced to resign because of that. But in Trinidad and Tobago, we had to wake up and see this woman's face. Why she didn't put Kamal George's next to she too? This woman and this message of this fake apology after she and her management lied to the board. The board lied to the minister. The minister gone in parliament lied to the cabinet and to the parliament and lied to the entire population. And we have to wake up and see over 80 to 100 thousand dollars of your money spent to put a smiling picture of the liar on the papers. Yes, Trinidad and Tobago is a model country under Rowley's PNM. We could model, yeah, real good. Bless.